just talking practically about about layering experiences like that i think that's i think that's super interesting it can be done easily through retargeting essentially where you show someone offer and then you sort of retarget them right away but you're probably talking about a bit more of, a, of an inception in a way right you're talking about literally layering maybe multiple content videos before you go in for the sale P- practically is that just a matter of of just creating retargeting pools where you're saying anyone who's watched this video and this video, like how do you layer on sequential targeting on Facebook ads right now? What are some of the best tactics for that? So it can be a, it can be a combination of things. So if I'm in the Facebook audience tool and I'm creating an audience, I'm going to click on engagement and then I'm going to go to video first because I can create an individual audience for a threshold watched of the video for three seconds, 10 seconds, 25%, 50%, 75%, 95%. And I can do that for one video or I can do that for many videos. So as an example, if I have three different videos that I'm using for my cold audience attraction, I can just lump them all into one list if I wanted to. And then on on a ad set level, when I'm using my targeting objectives, I'm gonna target the audience of the people who watch that cold video that attracts my cold traffic with whatever my next video might be in my sequence. And then the people who watch that specific video, they'll have an opportunity to see the third video. And then also the timing here matters. So as an example, the bidding, as in if you put a manual bid, a really high manual bid on your content, and you do what Tim talks about, an eight to 12X ratio for whatever your manual bid might be, you can get somebody to go from not knowing you to having the right perspective and then buying your product in hours. Or if it's a longer process, meaning you know from data, a data-driven perspective that you have a longer buying cycle, where you can effectively manage the perception of the individual until it's time to make your call to actions for whatever that amount of time might be. Uh, so it's all completely relative to whatever's being sold, of course, but that yeah, truly, I mean, it can go as fast as you want it to, or it can be dependent upon the person's usage. So all, all of that should be considered, but yeah, it's just audiences and, and include and excludes. <laughs> and content. And this is the this is the next thing I was going to ask about. So we spoke a little bit about what makes quality content. You know, I've been producing content for for a couple of years now with this podcast. We're, we're building our audience slowly, um, but we haven't hit anything that's that's gotten really viral yet, except for maybe that Illuminati picture with Tim and I. Uh, that, that one that one went pretty viral there. But 